wonderful morning everybody we're down here at the some unknown park on the north side there's the train line Bunnings is across the road Bunnings warehouse there's a big warehouse a community centre support centre so I'll say it's Probably uh, mills for the homeless. I can't walk through there, sweetie. There, so eventually, because it doesn't look like this is being used much, well, at all, uh, this will be built on. So the old buildings, warehouses, and on the other side there. Some little power at one point power station or some sort of detection thingy we've got surveillance thingies on the top you know uh, Wi-Fi so and it's air-conditioned it's a power or telephone Disability support, that's what it is. Disability support services. But we'll go and follow the train line a little bit. And it's actually even got a plaque on it. Officially opening it. That's pretty cool. It's only a, a temporary building, as most of Toowoomba buildings are. But still, anything to, to support the community. Train line to Brisbane. As you can see, it's a narrow gauge. And New South Wales is and Victoria are on broad gauge. And went narrow gauge because of the uh, it's stupid to cut through the hills but it's only a single track and they want to turn it the ca uh, council wants to have passengers on it rather than just freight there is one passenger train that runs once a week uh, yeah once a week one it leaves on tuesday and comes back thursday and that's it, that's the only passenger train we've got. But they want to do high speed, which means, and with the uh, double stacking of freight, which we're going to have coming through, hopefully they make it a, a uh, you know, put double the tracks. And they have to get rid of this bend too. You can't have a high speed train going on that bend. And all the workers' cottages. What, sweetie? Oh, I think somebody's got chooks. I hear chooks in the out the back there. <laughs> this is probably a K out of town. Point. So it was point eight of a mile. Just on the north side. Oh, definitely trucks. <laughs> Anybody want an old Jeep? <laughs> that one, I think, has been advertised in the paper for ages and ages and ages. It's, uh, I think it was, looks like it anyway. Looks like the same car. In the same sort of spot. That's what I see on the internet. And that Jeep is uh, a um, grandmother's car. And they ripped the engine and gearbox out of it. As you do. So now the thing's worthless and they're trying to flock it off. Nobody is interested in it. You can get one with an engine in it for less than a thousand bucks. 
Wait, Doug. 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 Yeah. Normally I would let him go and say hello, but not around here. This area is very rough. Very rough. Not the roughest, but it's Yeah. Down there, that's the roughest area where that hill is. So, a lot of uh, uh, Aborigines around here, huge amount. Which is a lot of council housing, cheap housing. Small houses. Timber, all the early stuff. This is all early settlers. Which is a shame because you would have thought that uh, being the age of the, the place, this was an interesting factory. Got a hopper and everything in it at one stage. And uh, here you would uh, think that would be kept up and looked after but oh, people want new houses so foundry an old foundry lugs foundry and engineering still used but it doesn't look like it's used to capacity anymore probably used more for storage than anything else Motor trimmers. As I say, it's not the best area. <laughs>